Greetings to the 13 tribes of Israel scattered in the four corners of the earth and to the Gentiles called by the ox of fairy name of Abba Yahuwah, Elohim. This is the ox of fairy name that is above all names. <laughs> Eternal. Mm -hmm. Like I always love to say, not Pop Jesus, not Snake Allah. Is Yahuwah, hallelujah. Not Pope Jesus, not Snake Allah, but it's Yahuwah, the only fiery name. And that is above every other name. And that is above every other name. Yes, yes, yes. It's Yahuwah, the only everlasting name, and that is above every other name. Princess, love Yahuwah. It's okay. So much love Yahuwah. This temple is eternal bond with Yahuwah. The only everlasting name that is above every other names, every other names, every other names. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. It's Yahuwah, the only saving name that is above every other names. It's on forevermore, from everlasting to everlasting. He is the only fiery name that is above every other name. Every other name, yes, every other name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom, much love and much prosperity attend your family for you are the only reason of our time like truth because the time is simply near. Just as we see the days goes by so draw nigh the coming of Yahushua HaMashiach. Just as the Malak of Yehua saith unto Yehu Kana, the Revelator, seal not the prophecies of this book for the time is simply near. Exactly what we are doing here, family, decode the end times, prophecies, signs, dreams in, prepare, prepare people like you, body like you, host like you, for the blessed returning of King Yahushua Hamishiach, our eternal bridegroom, to whom do eternally, our worship, praise, honor, riches, power, glory, wealth, to the glory of his magnificent Abba Yahuwah, the Almighty Eternal. Forevermore, from everlasting to everlasting, is the only saving name. Is the only awesome name. Awesome name, yes. The only fiery name. Whereby you will be saved. Only one name is given. This is the name. Yahuwah, meaning I am that I am, and His Son's name is what? Yahushua, meaning. I am is salvation. That's it. Simple as ABCD. Simple as that. Not Pop Jesus. Like I said. Neither snake Allah. But it's Yahuwah. The only saving name. That is above every other name. And that is above every other name. Eternal. Every other name are uh, man made up. Yahuwah is self made. He said, I am whose I am. Self made. You believe in me? I am whose I am. You don't believe in me? Sorry, I am whose I am. That is self made. Self made Yahuwah. Every other one is made up by men, but this one is made by Yahuwah, by Yahuwah, by Yahuwah himself. Hallelujah. <clears throat> All glory unto this mighty name because it is the only name whereby salvation is found. Actually, salvation is the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. His name is Joshua. Simply means salvation. 
Why would not call him Yahushua according to the name? How angel gave it unto us? His name shall be called Yahushua, meaning I hear me salvation. His own actual name is Joshua. What the one they, 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 they call Joshua? That is his name. In English, simply means salvation. That's it now. Hallelujah. And to the Ruach HaKodesh, my eternal husband. To the Ruach HaKodesh, my savior, my helper. To the Ruach HaKodesh, eternally. All glory goes to the Ruach HaKodesh forevermore. Our worship, praise, honor goes to the Ruach HaKodesh. Eternally, our worship goes to the Ruach HaKodesh, my eternal husband. To the Ruach HaKodesh, ah, my forever teacher. To the Ruach HaKodesh, eh, my comforter. Our glory goes to the Ruach HaKodesh. Ruach Hodesh. Mm. Ruach HaKodesh is the one that does what? Mm. Ruach HaKodesh is our helper. The very one, when Abba Yawa said, I will never leave you nor forsake you, he is saying, I'm going to be sending the helper unto you. I will be sending unto you the very best friend, the one that is going to walk you through this journey of eternity. Whereby you will not mix it. Is the Ruach HaKodesh? Sekei Yabo Ruach HaKodesh Sekei Yabo Sei Ruach HaKodesh Sekei Vri Labayo Ruach HaKodesh Sekei Yabo Sei Vri Labasei Yes Himo Santalabu Himo Yantalabe Wo wo robosika yabe Wo wo robosika yabe Wo wo robosika yabe Yes Orobosika yabe Robosika yabe I love you so much Abba Yehua Yes Abba Yehua you have been worshipped praised loved honored saved Always, ever, eternal, right in the temple of your eternal hand, your very Isha, for you are my Abba, also my eternal husband. I just love you, Abba. Thank you for giving me your set-apart word, King Yahushua HaMashiach. Thank you for giving me your set-apart spirit. Hakodesh. Hallelujah, Abba. Thank you for your says. You will never leave me nor forsake me. Your word is right there for me, and your spirit is also right there for me. And you banner all over me, all over me, all over me. Hallelujah, Abba. Thank you for the camp of yours right now. Oh, bless you for your choosing, for your elect. You said we are so peculiar. You said we are the people, oh Abba, so dear unto you. We are the apples of your eyes. And you said we came from you, the eternal royal priesthood. Thank you, Abba, for making us so special. Bless your holy mighty name. We love you so much because... In fact, enemy is crying now because your finger has already been revealed. Yes, in the camp of Israel. You're very late. Love you so much. Hallelujah. All right, now, family, we want to do something different here today. If you have been following me maybe from 2018, fear for you, I'm not going to be a novice to this very topic. This very topic won't be a naive answer you because uh, you are already being informed and you know about it already. Okay, so only those that follow me recently, somehow it's going to be so strange unto them. It's going to be new unto them. Okay, it's going to be a new topic or a different topic unto them. But you that has, that has been there since 2018, of course, is no more a new story. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or a new, a new, uh, yeah, a new topic unto you, for you. You you understand already, okay, a witch in the family. So I want to touch on it again. 
and the reason why I'm here again, maybe you see from my paperwork already why I'm touching on this again. All right now, so before we start digging into why this topic today, let's, you know, get it right. We are in the presence of the living Abba Yahuwah. Okay. All right now, family, here we are. Oh, Robosi Kayaba. Oh, Shanala Boy in the Lebusiki. I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's take it again. Here we are in the heavenly court room of Abba Yahuwah with this powerful message started for you and me. Witchcraft is real. Are you going to be still doubting that? Okay, so this topic, if you are a kind of somebody, I think it will do you well. You walk away from this message. If you are a man of flesh, if you don't believe in spirituality, because there are some Christians, because they are the one we are seeing all this kind of, you know, uh, believer in them, all this kind of character in them, they will believe some, they don't believe some, okay? Like the Jehovah Witness people, they, I don't think they believe anything with spirituality, okay? Now, if you are that kind of person, that type of people that doesn't believe witchcraft, please kindly take a walk so that you won't be making fool of yourself or so that you won't be in, 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 uh, engaging you, yourself in danger. Because these are unclean spirit. If you are not, if you are not watchful, if you don't, you are not, uh, if you don't hold your ground, they will enter you and possess you. Especially when you are naive of them, of course they look for a body to possess. They are evil spirits. They need body to help carry them. That is why when Abba Yahweh, uh, that is why Abba Yahweh is also a spirit. That is why he don't dwell on a clean temple. He dwells in a clean temple, a repented temple. So this unclean spirit also in search of a body they want to possess, because they are spirits. They they hide in their spirit spiritual world. So, but if they want to carry out their mission physically. They need body to do that for them. Maybe I'm gonna be sharing one testimony about her. When she confessed 2005, as if it was this time, she should have been everywhere today in the internet. Because people is gonna be, should have been doing live video. Just that those days we don't have this privilege we have today on social media. Okay, so that is why I'm using my own mouth to narrate it. Now when she returned back, I told her I'm gonna resume my message again. She ran away already from Facebook. Quickly she disabled it. But her name, this was, uh, first of all, when I said I'm going to resume her topic again, this was the name she wrote before Justin Amber Egbert. This was her uh, Facebook handle. This is what she's, this is her name on Facebook. So first of all, when I told her I'm going to resume this uh, message again, which is the family, because she returned back, because something happened, she returned back. Okay. Now, as soon as I tested that message, when she began to talk trash on my inbox, and I said, okay, I will start your message all over again. But right away, she changed that name to Eki Johnson. E-K-R, then Johnson. Right away, she changed her name because she don't want people to find that she's running, she's disguising. So when I also see that she changed her name, I said, but that is not going to change my, my message. My message is still unstoppable. So I said, now I gave my new, uh, my new Facebook, um, my new Facebook uh, uh, friends and my new subscriber on YouTube. Okay. They're going to also come for you. I said, don't worry. You're going to be having more, you know, <laughs> new people now. So right away, she blocked me. There is no peace for the wicked, says the royal law. Okay, so let's take the title once again, and before we start feeding it with the royal law. Witchcraft is real. Okay, okay, I think this is where I also stop. All right, now let's take it again. Here we are in the heavenly court room of Abba Yahuwah with this powerful message started for you and me. Witchcraft is real. My heart's opening testimony was a fire and caused the return of a witch in the family. It has no part, okay? I will do another one on the Shabbat. I will do another one on the Shabbat. I'm gonna, I have two powerful ones already. 
Because I told that if I be a one, so bring on that one, I will do it again. Okay, so prior to the title, let's begin to work with the title and fill it now with the royal look. Okay, so should I rebroadcast the title again for a, be a better understanding? Witchcraft is real. My heart's opening testimony was the fire and caused the return of a witch in the family. As soon as she heard that testimony, oh my father, that was real. That's obviously witchcraft is real. I think I, I didn't finish the, um, the title. Let me record again, rebroadcast again. Witchcraft is real. My heart's opening testimony was a fire and caused the return of a witch in the family. Revelation 12, 11. That is, where, that is the place area I left out. Revelation 12, 11. So we're going to be starting, our, starting working our way from here. Revelation 12, 11. Justin, I know you are a black snake. Like I said, I know you will reopen again to come and see how many people that view it. To come and see how people is also, you know, trying to see who you are and all that. I don't know why you are blocking it. Since you say you are innocent, why are you running away? <laughs> you see me now, I start getting back. Nothing, nothing they pursue me. Oh. Nothing. Only the wicked run away when no one is after them. But I'm after you. The judgment of your wife is after you. Okay. So that's why you are running away. Me, I goes nowhere. I'm here. Now, Revelation 12, 11. And they overcame it. This goes for you, Justina. Okay. And they overcame him. You, they say the same pet, okay? And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. No, I did you know I did not just overcame you by only the blood of the lamb. No. And by what? It goes with another method. Listen up. It did not stop over there. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. And what? And by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. You know, I don't care. You know, whenever this guy show up, whenever, whenever, whenever she shows up, calamity always before my enemy. But this time, Abba Yahuwah promised me by his uplifted hand, hands, he even goes with scriptures, numbers, okay, that he swear by himself with these two immutable things, which is never possible for Abba Yahuwah to lie, to post up. Uh, to stop every doubt and argument in their soul or in their mind or in their heart or whatever. Abba Yawa swore by himself that this one is not going to be as usual. That this your returning is not going to be as you thought. Because whenever you show us, when, whenever you show, show up like this, calamity always before my enemy. Abba Yawa said none of that anymore. He assures me. He assured me. I swore by himself and said this time is the other way around. Because this is your returning. Abbe Iwan said, in fact, I, I did that message to you already. Now I want to speak to the audience, okay? So, that is the promise. Because whenever she shows up like this, she will hide somewhere. After three, four years, she will show up. Some calamity will come. She will hide her head. That is, whenever she comes out, is to bite me. Whenever, whenever she comes out, is to you know, it's a, she's a snake, is to bite. Witchcraft is real, and this is pure testimony of my life story. Now, but Abaya, I think I'm gonna be reading the scripture he gave unto me. He said, No, none of that trash anymore. So, this is the word, and this is my defense, and this is my divine protection. Abaya gave unto me. As soon as you came back, this is the word he gave unto me. I wasn't panic at all. I said, I know this girl, this has always been a trace. She will bite and she will sneak in again. She will go and hide. When she hear, because this, oh no. Anyway, maybe the final one I'm going to narrate. Oh no. I'm going to be sharing some testimony. And this is practical. This is no revelation. This is no dream. This is, let me see you. So whenever uh, I, I, I make progress a little bit, she will show up again. Before you know, something will happen. Something will happen. Something will happen. I think this has been going on in two or three different occasions. Yes, one, two, three. Yes, three. 
So, but this is your fourth time showing up. I bet you once said it is your judgment. It's not for you to bite me anymore. Mm -mm, you can't bite me because whenever she here, yeah, I'm making some progress. Now I can rent a house. Now I can pay my rent. Now I can feed my children. She will show up before you knew a disaster will happen. Either I go to prison or I lose a job. <laughs> now, let's see Hebrews chapter 6. This is the scripture that you want give unto me. For as an assurance, he assured me so powerful. And I also narrate the what she's taught in her mind that she came to do. Witchcraft is real. Come on now. Hebrews chapter 6 and verses 10. I will start from there. For, for Yehovah is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shown towards his name. I love Yehovah's name, okay? In that ye have ministered to the saints and be ministering in this platform. I say, when you hit a thousand subscriber on YouTube, definitely right away they will, they, they will monetize your page. And be on YouTube, how many years now? 12 years, counting 30 years. My YouTube was monetized, I think about five years ago, I did not turn it on, the monetization, monetization body. I refused to go according to the instruction they asked me to do. They said, congratulations, I'm going to be making money now on YouTube every month. I did, I did not fill the form. We had to put my bank. I did not do none of those things because I'm not selling my God. I'm not selling my make. I'm not selling my Yahuwah. I only went there to fill the sheep with the promises of eternal state. And also the goat as well with the judgment of eternal state. That is the reason why I'm on, I'm on social, medias, um, social media handles. Now, Levin. And we desire that every one of you do show the same uh, diligence to the full assure, uh, assurance of hope until the end. Hallelujah. 12. That ye be not uh, uh, slothful, but, uh, but followers of them who through faith and uh, patience inherit the promise. Hallelujah. 13. For when Yahuwah made promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself. 14. Say, surely blessing, I will bless thee, and multiplying, I will multiply thee. 15. And so, after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. 16. For men verily swear by the greater, and an hold for confirmation is to them an end of all strife. 17. When we are in Yahuwah willing more uh, abundantly to show unto the hands of promise the immutable the immutability of his cancer confirmed it by an oath. 18. That by two immutable things in which it was impossible for Yahuwah to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled uh, for refuse to lay hold upon the hope set before us. Hallelujah. I bless you, my Abba. Your word, oh Abba, it's a, it's, it's a stronghold of me. It's a divine protection. As I take this, I thank you for your fiery chariot has been, you know, China all over me. Justina won't be able to bite me anymore. She won't bite me anymore because she's always coming to bite. And but whenever she hears good news that I stand on my feet, she will come to bite. But this time you gave me this word and this assurance that she won't do it anymore. Rather, this one is another thing entirely. Rather, this one is going to be another thing that is going to change the situation around. Thank you, Abba. I love you so much for your divine word, divine protection. Thank you for your mighty hand that surrounds me and my children and my family. In your mighty name, Amen. All right, now, so let's start. I think today is just going to be like some kind of, you know, testimony. Okay, I think I will first of all put this Matthew 15 verses 13 before I do why I return back to this message again. Because when I once did it, started it 2018, a lot of people flooded our Facebook handles. Right away, she disabled it and ran away. Mm -hmm. It blocked me also. 
I even said it in one of video like that that she blocked me already because you, you can't stand it. I said you were made, 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 made up your mind to repent, but like your case, you can't repent. This girl can't repent. She blasphemed already. You see, a thing that happens is 20, it's about 18 to 90 years now. She is still in the state of her cleanliness. She can't repent. Now, now, Matthew chapter 15, verses 13, I read. But he answered, I said, every plant which my heavenly father had not planted shall be rooted up. Why am I here? Like I said, I think maybe the last one, I'm going to be show, show, showing some pictures. What happened? That plot, my land was, it can contain two marshes. It was a very giant land, okay? So deportation first time, deportation second time, deportation the third time. It was the fourth deportation I knew yeah, who went to prison. When they also conclude to deport me again, then I speak to Yahuwah. I heard people always say that when they are in trouble, you always come to their rescue. If only you can rescue me from this deportation again, fearful I will not prostitute anymore. I'm going to use my life to save you. The rest of my life, I'm going to save you. And it was so. I'm counting 21 years now, no sexual intercourse, no fornication, none of those filthiness of Satan anymore. Now, do I really have enough room to narrate all this event? But that was how I repented, okay? And I began to walk this journey. Okay? So I think I'm going to be, there is a time for all. So, I, I have a big land, you know. Whenever I traveled to Italy before, as soon as I fi finished paying my damn deportation. The first one was just only four days after after I paid fifty thousand dollars. I was deported. Only four days. So when I got home, nothing. I fought I, I, I fought again, you know. No, first time that is where I sold my plot of land. I caught some part of it, I sold it. Make another move. This time headed to Germany. Got it there, exactly the same thing happened again, another deportation. I returned back to Nigeria. Hey, God, empty-handed again. Hey. I know my friends in one area, all of them, they jacked out already, they traveled already. I said, this is going to be a shame of me. It's like I will just work for somebody. I will not gather anything of my own. I make the move the third time, straight away to Italy. This one, it was even uh, Morita La Mohammed Airport. It could even happen. So the plane. Hey, this one, I think. Uh, yes, I initiated this with my own money. I think that is where I saw the plot of land. I will put myself together. Yes, that is where I saw the plot of land. To make a, another move. That one, they played me. Correct. And I'm going to like to know the, the, the time I will share the full testimony. Yes, Oba family played me that money. This lady, she lives in uh, England. And she was in a. Uh, Owijoba in Selu. She, of course, for you to live in Owijoba in Selu, which means you are related to Oba. So she played me that money. I couldn't. That was the third. I counted another deportation because they aborted the plants again. So the fourth one, and I followed another madame again to Italy. This one successfully brought me. Yes, I also paid. I was again in the deportation camp to be deported the fourth time. Fearful. Yeah, when I came to my rescue. And I promised him that if you rescue me from this fourth deportation, I will never prostitute anymore and I will use my life to serve you. And it was so. So now, why did I brought all this? So now, when I came, I put four flats down. Very giant for flats, okay. That was the plan because I bet you also open business for me and all that. After I repented, I began to sell gold, you know, but going to Italy to buy things and say and all that. So I put that house down. So what am I might say? The glory she was the glory that she was the demon that always shared my glory with me. That land was full big land. She shared, she took half part. Therefore, I put four flats down. Okay, she also shares it and took two uh too flat <laughs> now I built too flat she show up again so what was the uh, what was a reason for showing up again 
her intention now is to kill my only son. But Yahweh said that is a lie because that is the vision I saw. Last night, she held a girl, and the, but this girl was a plastic girl. No, no, it wasn't a plastic girl because I myself, first of all, was thinking it was a plastic girl. Yes, that's what I thought in that dress. I said, get out, you that carry plastic girl. He said, I will release it eh? when I release the, this bullet. You will know that it's not a plastic uh, girl. Therefore, she not raised it up. When she raised it up, I said, eh, eh, it's a real girl. But Yahweh said, no, she will shut herself. She can't point to your son because prior to that one reckless lifestyle, yes, it's in the opening. But Abbe Yawa said no, rather she's going to kill herself and not see her shut herself in that vision. The evil that men do lives in them. So that is the reason for her thought show up again. Now, when we just started, when we, because that house was four flat, like I said, when she came, I don't think there's a room to be narrating all this, but let me just cut it short. So every plants, everything, decky, whatever that have to do with four flat that I put that there before, prior to the situation I was not facing, I don't even have a house or whatever. So the house not really got rusted and all that. It spent about 18 years before I resumed again. Everything. I wanted to destroy the building. The, the building even cost me more money than to set a new one. But my children have said, for memory's sake, mommy, don't destroy it. We have spent so much. Pull it down, everything that have to do with Deki. Because the building was so weak. You, uh, they said, even the engineer said, I advise you, mama, don't dare put another house on top of this house. It's going to collapse. Because the building is so weak. It can't retain any, anything. It can't carry that pressure mm -mm, of another building on top. Don't even try it. So I advise you to just forget everything about this for flat. Everything that I have to do with Deki, we're going to strip everything away. We're going to break all the pillars. We're going to break all the, uh, the the irons and all that. So I spent more money in fixing that. Okay, so <clears throat> that, that was why I said she it was four. She took two again, left only two now. Now, the very year, that house, how many, tre I mean, how many trees were rooted out in my support? Not my support, because now it's a living room, it's official now, in my room. 12 trays 12 trays 12 that was why i said maybe the final i'm going to be showing all the trees 12 in a two flat building you took out 12 trays and those were the trees that break the beauty break the uh, uh, decking whatever everything that was the trees that destroyed the house in my own room a whole giant three trees that is satanic trinity the tree they rooted out from that house was 12. Now, what happened as soon as because that tree was implanted by my father when she confessed 2005, she now said that house was where they are covered that I will not, I will not build it. It's where they do their meeting. <laughs> Witchcraft is real. Now, as soon as I, as soon as we rooted that building, who told her? How did she know? <laughs> this is the name she's. This is Sarah. She blocked me already. Hey, Justin, uh, now she's, she, right away she changed. You see, I, I'm not afraid. I share all the house testimony with her. Now, what, what I want to show you people, this is the year we rooted her out of the house. Oh, no, excuse me, not be this one. Uh -huh. And this is the name. This is Hannah. You see? What year is this? I wanted to see very clear. 2000, uh, 2020. This is the year... Uh -huh, very clear. You see what she said? You see what she said? You see the nonsense she said? Now, you say you are not a witch. Look at what she did. After I'm not, I, I, after she confessed the whole Burma. In fact, people call me miracle prior to her nonsense. Now, after she has confessed, everybody now begins to run away from her. The only one lady that goes close to her, Mary. Her name is called Mary. That one have a Netherlands rich man. Very, very rich. Her Netherlands rich man is, is among, uh, among the top 10 billionaires. Very rich. So what did this bastard did? See, the person that says she's not a witch, she always betrays people. Trust. So the, this Mary, Mary not, come Mary not come close to her. They were not friends, you know. 
in and out. She, she only goes to Mary's house. Mary comes to her. Because everybody, including me, everybody fled away from her. Because she was so wicked in her witchcraft daily. Now, what did she do? She snatched that Weibo. She snatched that boyfriend. The secret Mary told her about the white man, Owen. His name is Owen. This guy now went to go and reveal it to the white man. That white man wanted to deport Mary. That white man wanted to deport Mary. No room to narrate all the story. Now, the white man, she now begin to friend the white. She now begin to do boyfriend matter. Okay, in the second one, uh, maybe I'm going to narrate this. Is it the second one? Yeah, the second one. Build the altar of Bay and build the altar of Yehovah. I build the altar of Yehovah. She built the altar of Bay. Okay. I think that should be the second one. So I will narrate the whole story. A normal person can do that. She betrayed me. She betrayed only person that come close to her. She says something. She always bad. That one now, she's, she run to Germany. She run to England. Because the Obama wanted to deport her. The white man wanted to deport her. A normal person can betray when you were in trouble. The only person that, that when you were in trouble, the only person that that, that that stood by you, you also bite her because you are a serpent. You are a serpent. That's what serpent always do. So as soon as what I might say, as soon as we uprooted this tree, she not came to put this message because a devil told her already something's about to happen. Your throne is being rooted out. Your kingdom is destroyed. That house is about to become a living home. I said this house, the gate there alone. If you see that gate, you will know how much that gate costs now. <laughs> My stamp floor, people that is doing stamp, stamp floor, you know how much stamp floor costs? Over 3 million, close to 4 million. Oh no. Anyway, let's reserve all this one, maybe for the final one. Hmm? So, because those three were not planted by my, that was satanic 12 apostles. The three that was in my master room, that is satanic trinity. So, as soon as we rooted it out, this guy showed up. She now began to curse. She now began to say all oh, nonsense. Who told her? Because this is what we are doing. We are secretly doing it with the no, no family we are aware. But as soon as I put everything, I also put it on Facebook because I'm not scared. I know testimony is powerful. Testimony is so powerful. But right away, when we destroy our kingdom, our, you know, whatever, she show up again. That's what I'm saying. Who told her that? She don't communicate with nobody in the family. She run away. Now, after that, when we also finish building, I know maybe she's monitoring me or, uh, because she's a monetary camera. But where we root this year, 2020, there's nothing about that house in, in, on my Facebook handle. No. No. Nothing. Then. I, I shouldn't be lying. No. Is it true? Where did I post the one I posted? I think I have to. Let me be sure. Maybe she saw it on Facebook. I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't really know. Okay, I will be sure of the date because I posted a video. Uh -huh. I will check. If that video is 2021, Therefore, it was a witch that told her. If it is 2020, okay, I think it's 2021. Let me quickly be sure of that. So I will be sure in the other video to see if she get the information because she messaged me on October 1st, 2020. And I don't think I have done that posting, but I will be sure. If not, who told her? None of none of my family were aware. Nobody. How did she know? And the only reason, or how did she know? That is what I'm saying. The demon inside of her. Let her know that this woman is like she's recovering now. It's like she's recovering now. And when she messaged, the, do send this message message honestly. I never knew she even sent message. Until when I now did the opening, I carried five canopies. I came Malu, big cow, two musicians, family, my father's side, my mother's side. I really make a big show of it. Because that half house has, has an history. He has an history. has been coming from a long way. So I can't just enter quietly. I really make big show of it. We only did that last week, a week today, before you knew it. This guy started manifesting in my inbox. 
And I said, okay, what you saw or what you've been told or what you feel, just small one. And I begin to share her, share unto her, share to her the videos of inside the house. I said, no more breath left in her. The video inside, this video of, of the house, I built a, a, a superb or a standard or very superb house. It's a dupe one. It's a super duper one. It is a super duper. I did not build a better past my neighbor. I did it exactly the modern way or the modern day's house building. That's what I did. That's what I did. So no breath left in her. She now begin to talk about that pity. So what am I saying? Witchcraft is real. Whenever your testimony is out, or whenever the demon is out of them, let them know that something is about to be broken, they will manifest physically. That is what I'm saying. I think I'm going to be keep the, keeping the rest of the scripture for um, the return of Pharaoh, Pharaoh, a witch in my house, because she's a Pharaoh. But I, I quickly, let me still put some scriptures, because I don't think, okay, our Apostle chapter 16, I have a few time. Uh, to go about five minutes now. Um, so now, how did she know that something or her yoke is broken off me? This is the demon inside of her that told her that. Then she began to manifest exactly the same year. Our apostle chapter sixteen verses sixteen through eighteen. And it came to pass as we went to prayer, set it down so possessed by a spirit of divination, which is witchcraft. Okay, met us. Uh, met us. Which brought her, which brought her master much gain by so saying, she's this demon you see so she's bringing her master, but no more, because whenever she show up, she bites, she, but she will not bite anymore. No more serpent bite. In your was mighty name seventeen. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, "This may are the servant of the Most High Yahuwah, which show unto us the way of salvation." And this did she many days, but Shahu, or rather Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the spirit, I command thee in the name of Yahushua Mashiach to come out of her. And he came out of her. He came out the same hour. So what what was using the game? Was a prophecy true? Was a feeling true? We are Paul and Salah, the true men of Yahweh, of course they were. Okay, what we are they doing? We are there precious salvation, of course. But by whose spirit she used to prophesy? Which Christ spirit? Which is not you too well that you know yourself if you are not, if care is not taken. If you are not fully loaded with the word of Abba, they will even know you better than you do. This guy knows me better than I do before I begin to know who I am. She was prophesying a, 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 a true prophecy, but with unclean spirit. So unclean spirit is ministry reality about you to their agent in order for them to stop it. But this one, that is the word of Abba you are given to me and say, no way. It's blessing make rich and no sorrow, no more wilderness, no more serpent bites. Because whenever she shows up, she will bite. But she's not biting anymore. Rather, I saw her gone herself down because I thought she was playing. Uh -uh. When she raised it up, I said, no, this is a real girl. Abba you said, fear not. This time she's going to shut herself. And indeed, that vision she shot herself. Oh, Sak Mama. I always just say, Why do you have a pretty mommy? In that vision, I was like, Mama, why? why you want to kill my son? I bet you want to say, It is Justina again using your sister face to cover. Ah, Justina shall never be well with you. In your was my name. Now, Exodus chapter 22, verses 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. When a witch cross spirit is free, and a mafia. I think 32 or 36 is one of these. I'm not sure what is there. Okay. He said, enemy of a man being gifts in his household, which is a wizard house, I can't do you anything if you don't have inside your whole house. Now, what was I written? Let me show you. I'm going to be quoting only this because I'm running out of time now. Numbers chapter 22. This is a word for the witch in my family, okay? No, excuse me, Numbers 23, verses 19 through 27. Habba Yahweh said, there is no enchantment. There is no divination. There is no witchcraft against Jacob. 
and gates to Yisrael. No divination, no witchcraft, no enchantment, no spell. I bet what has blessed me, and this blessing is going to climb up to the cloud. I am going to be a city, of course, built on top of the mountain that all eyes must see. Because this blessing make rich add no sorrow. And I saw you, you gone yourself down. Because he said that is the uh, nature for you to show up again. Three different occasions where you show up, disaster always overtook you, not me anymore. But Abba Yawa said, he stop your satanic trinity anymore. This, this fourth one can't work. Rather, it's going to buy fire on you. So what I will say, witchcraft is real. As soon as she had that little breakthrough of mine, she shows up again. When we rooted that 12 trees out of that building, she shows up. When I did powerful, you know, house opening, she showed up again. And she now begins to manifest witchcraft. Begins to say all kinds of tracks and uh, trash. She said her God, I, I, I should wait for her God. So that is, that. okay, that should be the second one. I beg her, and I'm going to show all our conversation in the inbox. I say, I beg. I decry, yeah, I need your God. Call me that your God to come and deal with me. If that your God did not come. Okay, that is the second one I'm going to do. I will show you all the, I will show you all the test messages. Numbers 24, read it. Matthew 12, verses 20, 43 through 45. Exodus 14, verses 5 through 9. I will use these scriptures again because I don't want to read it now because there is no room to really liberate on it the way it is. So no need to start it. So I just call out the scripture already. So the second one, because this week I'm so busy. No, no, no message weekdays on the Shabbat next week, a week today, we will do the other one. Then I'm going to be reading all the text message and all the scriptures. I will also read it. The, uh, this mes message or this segment si simply me exposing you know, the demonology in the family. This is, we are talking about demonology. How they normally operate. She shows up. And whenever she shows up, she always came with those seven wicked demons. But I bet you said, those seven wicked demons' head has, has been chopped off. Because I clean my house and my house is not empty. My house is filled with the word of Abba Yehovah. If it is empty, you can succeed. But when it's not empty, it will buy fire on you. We see Pharaoh, how Pharaoh command all, Pharaoh chased after the Israel again. Okay? When he heard that they, they, they free, they, they, they left them to go. He said, why should we miss their service? They are our slaves. They can't break through. Oh, yeah, let's break them back to Egypt again the second time for slavery. What happened? Little did they know that it was their link of fire bar the barrier that they came to take. And Abba Yawa buried them in the Red Sea. Red Sea is flash link of fire. 